Hi, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a full screen exit intent pop up using Oxygen's modal element. I'm sure we've all seen this where we're browsing a page of some kind and maybe we see what they're offering and decide it's not for us. So we go up to close the browser or the tab and all of a sudden we're presented with an incentive to stay on the page. Luckily in Oxygen, these are super simple to set up using the modal element. So let's jump to the back end and I'll show you how to set one of these up. Now to start with, we need to of course insert a modal. So let's click add, go to helpers and click modal. Now this is going to drop it to the bottom of our page, which is fine for this example. So we will go to trigger, first of all, because that's the most important part of building an exit intent model, is that it triggers when it looks like someone wants to leave. So we're going to choose the show when drop down and go to on exit intent. You can also configure whether it's shown again on every page load, whether it's never shown again to the same person, or if it's shown again to the same person after a certain number of days. For this, we're not going to do any of that. We're just going to have it show again on every page load. Next, let's jump back to the modal's primary properties pane tab, and let's look at content styles. Um, we're, for this one, we're going to use two divs, so we're going to want to stack our elements horizontally to get that side-by-side -side layout. The rest of the settings are fine, so let's jump back over and go to modal styles. Now we're going to want to set this to 100% width because we do want it to be full screen. And we'll keep it centered and we'll keep the backdrop as is, but we'll want to jump over to advanced size and spacing and set the height to 100 and then choose our pixels icon and choose V H. That's going to give us a full screen modal element to work with. Next, let's add our two divs. So click add and let's go to basics and let's add the left div first. Now for this, we're going to set it to something like 40% width. So we'll enter 40, choose our pixels unit and choose percent instead. Now let's jump over to advanced size and spacing and we're going to set the height to 100 VH as well. And let's just give this a background color of white. Now let's go ahead and set up our other div before we add any elements. So we're gonna uh, select the modal element here and click add and choose another div. Now this one will be 60% width to take up the rest of that available space. And again, we're gonna to go to advanced size and spacing and set the height to 100 VH. Now, since this div is kind of the simple one, there's really no content besides a background image. Let's go ahead and set it up. Let's go to advanced background and we're gonna choose an image which I've already uploaded here. All these oranges and grapefruits it looks like. And we're gonna choose that and go to background size cover and then we're going to add a gradient and so we're going to go to gradient and we're going to add two colors now i have a couple of global colors set up here i have an orange and then i'd like to use a yellow uh, so we're going to go over here and do kind of a citrusy yellow great and we're going to set the angle to 120 degrees now under the normal background settings here, we're gonna set the background blend mode to, I believe hard light would look okay. Yes, perfect. So now we have a gradient effect over this background image. This background image is also used on the main page, so it kind of ties everything in. Makes it look like it's part of the same design. Great, so that right hand div is completely finished and we need to jump back over to the left hand div and add our content. So let's just drop in all the elements we're gonna work with here. We're gonna add uh, an icon, so we can use the search up here to do that really quickly. And we need to find an X icon under Font Awesome here. I know they have it, there it is. Great, so that's gonna be our exit element. And while we're in here, let's go ahead and Go up to where the ID is shown, and to make this element close the modal when it's clicked, we have to click the ID, and then we're going to enter a class name, which will be oxy-close-modal. 
great and let's set the color to black we're not going to arrange anything yet we're just going to drop it all in and get it set up basically and then we'll arrange everything within this div so click the div and we'll add a heading and let's set it to black as well and let's just say why are you leaving great and next we'll add a text element that says something like use this discount code to get 100 percent off of your next purchase wonderful now we need to add the discount code so let's add a text element and we'll style it to look kind of like a coupon cutout so let's choose that and let's go to advanced size and spacing let's add some padding we're going to go kind of uh, gratuitous on the padding here to give it plenty of space and let's make up a code perfect uh, and then we're going to want to go to advanced borders and let's set all the borders to an orange color three pixels width and kind of a dashed uh, border perfect so now we have the basic elements of our exit intent modal we just need to kind of lay them out in the div so now we can choose the div itself go to advanced size and spacing and we're going to set some padding here let's try 25 pixels all around that looks decent now to get this top heading uh, away from this X we could add a bunch of top margin but I don't really want to do that so instead we're gonna do this a little differently um, first we're gonna set this div under advanced uh, layout to position relative now that will allow us to position this um, X icon absolutely within that div so let's go to advanced layout and find position absolute great we've broken everything so now we get to fix it so we're just gonna set the top at 25 pixels and left at 25 pixels since that's our padding now that takes the X icon out of the flow of the uh, Dom so we can actually uh, manipulate the elements inside that div without impacting the X icon so we're gonna choose the div and under the primary tab of the properties pane we're gonna choose uh, middle for the vertical item alignment great that looks much better now let's add a little bit of spacing between these elements maybe just a few pixels here and then we might want to uh, move this around also I'd like to add a border radius to that actually so let's jump back over to uh, advanced borders on this uh, coupon code and we're going to add say a 15 pixel border radius great um, so now we basically have the exit intent modal, but what we'd like to do is have this animate in whenever it is uh, shown. So let's select the modal itself, and since we've covered it up with divs, we'll have to use the structure pane on the right-hand side to do that. So select the modal and go to advanced effects, animate on scroll, and check enable animation. Now we can choose whatever kind of animation type we would like. For this example, I've used a flip animation, which looks kind of cool and it's eye catching. I like to slow them down a little bit so that they're not quite so quick. Perfect. So there's an exit intent modal. Now let's take a look on the front end and make sure everything works like we expect it to. So we'll save that and let's jump over to the front end. Here we are on our product page. It says, you know, click here if you want some fruit. We're going to scroll down. We've got a product. No, we don't want that product. Let's get out of here. Let's go to close the tab. And there you have an exit intent modal that draws the attention of a user that's about to leave your site and gives you a last chance to get them back in to whatever you want to offer them. So, again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team. And that's how to set up a full screen animated exit intent modal in oxygen using the modal element. Thank you for watching.